Oh, good morning inmates, comrades and survivors. <clears throat> Seven o'clock in the morning, it's a bit brisk, but look, it's a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, no wind, no rain. <clears throat> I'm just leaving Tamworth now and I'm heading to Lightning Ridge, which is about five hours away. I needed to get an early start. I've got another busy time in Lightning Ridge and there's a bit of roadworks going on as I yesterday went really well. Lightning Ridge is gonna be fun. I'm actually staying in Lightning Ridge for two days I've never been there and it's a, it's a terrific uh, destination with lots to see and do with all the opal mines and things like that. Anyway, I'm on the Oxley Highway now. Well, uh, everyone Amanda, knows me. Amanda, Amanda and, Sharon. and Sharon. And over here we've got. <laughs> Look at this, Brett. Look out, Brett's bloody get up. How you going, boy? I'll drag you down the road. <laughs> down the road. How's that? So I've just stopped here um, in Narrabri, and I'm I'm just ben eggs Benedict with super crispy bacon, and uh, it looks amazing. I'm going to enjoy that, but I'm heading off. I'm about three hours. They tell me away from Lightning Ridge. So I do need to get cracking. So we're about 10 o'clock now. So I want to get in by one. And uh, I've fueled up and I'm ready to go. And I've parked, I've parked over here. I don't know if you can see it. Another shit job at parking, but I will get better at it. Hello, I'm Lisa. Lisa? Hello, Hello Bradley. Bradley? That's that. And Bradley just gave me a bit of a push because the lean was a bit hard when it was a bit over. Awesome, motorbike, love it. Oh, look at One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I can do that. I hang on. I know it's hard to believe that I was born in '59, isn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, I'm here at Collie Colleran Bry. So the story goes, as you saw, I was pulled over for the breathalyzer, and I said to the copper. He asked me where I was heading, and I said, Lightning Ridge, and then I said, and tomorrow, Moree, but I think he only heard Moree. And he said, yeah, just keep going. If I keep going, where do, where do I end up? You guessed it, Moree. So I added like another, I've added like another hour and a half onto my journey, so I'm a bit late. Let's go. Oh my God. Lightning Ridge. What a monumental stuff up. But what's happening is out in the open road, the bloody lid's coming up every time a, a train goes by, um, a road train goes by the lid. So I've got to get that lock fixed. That's a real nuisance because I can't, anything over a hundred, the thing's flying up in the air. So that's a real worry. Well, today's adventure before dementia takes me to Lightning Ridge. And that's a small outback town in northwestern New South Wales, part of the Walgett Shire. 
The Lightning Ridge area is a world-renowned centre of the mining of the black opals and other opal gemstones. By the mid-1800s, British colonists settled in the area and Europeans did not discover the potential for opal mining until the late 1800s. The first shafts were dug with the unique black opal soon attracting attention of fossickers all around the world. The name Lightning Ridge is said to have originated when in the 1870s, some passers-by found the bodies of his farmer, his dog and 200 sheep, which had all been struck by lightning. So I'd like to acknowledge, of course, the traditional custodians on the land on which I visit today and we pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging and celebrate the diversity of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island peoples and their ongoing cultures and connections to the lands and waters of the traditional owners of the land around Around Lightning Ridge are the, not going to try and say it, but it's going to be written up there, people. Today I'm heading to the Lightning Ridge District Bowling Club to meet the local legend whose story we shall hear. And today's visit is also supported by the local information office where we shall head off to now and meet Di, who got behind my visit and helped arrange everything. So let's go, shall we? Finally here! Information centre where Di is. And Di is the lady that really helped. Is it? Are you Di? Oh, I've got the. Sue Chris hello. Hello. And there she is. This is Di. Di's been the legend to get all this sorted. I'm so sorry I'm late. I've had a couple of bum yes, steers. And the club's on my left. Yeah, Paul and Gala's on your right. Rock and roll, ladies. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, a little bit of off road. So uh, two and a half hours I added to my ride today. So nearly a uh, seven hour ride day. Oh, Here at the Lightning Ridge Bowling Club, the very handsome, available, I'm just joking, Cameron is um, <laughs> a man with tools. We've got to love that. He's fixing... Uh, Billy the Kid, because as I explained before, the road was so rough, everything came loose and the bloody lid's going up. What a day I've had. Cat. Cat. Oh, Cat. Cat, the event manager. And, sorry? Rata. Rata. So, um, these are the guys that are helping me and Rata's been busy on social media and Cat's the events manager here, so <laughs> it's all systems go. Are you my man? <laughs> How are you? Good mate, good. So it's Peter, isn't yeah. it? My real name, so it's Peter Borkovic, but old Aussie Borkovic. tradition cut the last name in half and had a nose, so Borkovic became Borko. Borko. What's, what are you doing town? Um, opal miner and tour operator. And the, what's the name of your, op your business? Outback Opal Tours. Oh, okay. So um, I might get a bit of a run tomorrow, do you think? Can well, I get mate, a squeeze yeah. in, do you think? Yeah, we'll see how we go tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's right. How big the <laughs> night's going to be. Yeah. Depends if I do a good job or not. Oh, you're considered a local then if you've been here more than 20 years. Yeah, and I was born here. Oh, okay. So it's right. Pretty much local. And family still here? Um, yes, it's um, my old man just recently passed away. Oh, but sorry. yeah, so he's still here, but yeah, yeah in the cemetery. Children? Um, yeah, wife's here. Yeah. Well, she's not here at the moment. She's no, over visiting she's going to come parents. down. Oh, she's gone. She's not yeah, away. So you're, you're, they're allowed to travel overseas. You're batching so it tonight, are you? Batching it. Oh, look Monday out. Lucky. Look out. Hey, party Lightning Ridge coming. Bowling Club. <laughs> um, so, you know, have you found a lot? I mean, have you been successful? Well, you can't tell me because you're going to kill me. Still here, so it's... Can you see old Wannis get his reaction? They're mirrors? Yeah, Hang on a minute. Hey, come and have a look at yourself. Look at that. What a difference. There is a face under that beard. There you go. You'd have got a bit of a George Clooney, Mel Gibson vibe going on. That is. It's, uh, I think the wife would like that little bit of a wave. Yeah. There today. <laughs> As a souvenir of Lightning Ridge, you've given me this piece of opal that you found. When was this? Um, today. Today, in uh, one of his mines. So isn't it generous? It's worth a lot of money. You know? Hey. Well, I feel very um, humbled that you would do that. Look at that. Now we're going to go downstairs. There's the big reveal. My job is done here at Lightning Ridge Bowling Club with the, your local legend. Oh. Turn around so we can see everything. Oh. There you go. It's an imposter. <laughs>
one drama after a fucking another. So I've just gone to the mechanics to get the blue slip for the trailer to get it transferred to New South Wales Radio. The VIN number that's on there is 16 digits, it has to be 17. Well, good news people, I've got the blue slip. There's one digit that was missing and we found it and I've just got to get it put on the new compliance plate. Anyway, all sorted. Thank you. So I have been practicing taking it off. this without any helpers. I did it. I fucking did it. Okay. How good am I? So I'm staying here at the uh, Wallangula Motel, which is owned by the bowling club across the road. She is. There's Di's picking me up. God bless her. These indicate where they live. Oh, the door. So the car doors. doors. Car door tours are different. So these things, these doors, yeah. indicate where people live. Oh, so they use car doors car to... Car doors or hoods or anything. Instead of like a, like a number, the number yeah, of a property, yeah. they use car doors. So we're on the red See, car door this tour. This is yeah. so weird. He collects bed springs. He collects bed, bed springs. What a thing to collect. Why. That's the only thing that was actually the first township of what well, used to be called Wollongala. This right. is the first township. Some old trams area. and things. Yeah, old trams and things. People live in them, I guess. Yeah, they live in anywhere. So, and it's got, they've used a KFC sign. <laughs> They've probably no drive through. through. No drive through. <laughs> they've knocked that off from somewhere. Yeah. The Ridge Castle. It's an Airbnb. They wow. just do someone's home. It's got an indoor swimming pool. Yeah. See how there's a can section? Yes. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. that's her bathroom. She used to have bottles all the way through it. Okay. Because because it's her bathroom, she changed to cans. <laughs> right. That's okay. Right. Astronomer's monument. Yeah. So, yep. okay. so, we st so within that complex, there's actually four rooms, uh, five rooms. One is actually his jail cell, and four of them are actually dedicated to the astronomers who study. Oh, Amigos Castle. Lunatic Hill, it's called Lunatics because people are lunatics that work here. Those things there means that there's a mine underneath because that's the air vent. So just retracking, you were saying that so there's a sandstone level that has to be dug by hand? Yeah, all of it has to be dug by hand. All of it, so you, that, go, you go all down, which was, I went down that, that first where that guy that's carved sandstone everything. sandstone level. And then and there's, there's another, another layer, layer where the opals, the yeah, opals where are the found. Opal level. Yeah. And then you're saying now that there's actually discovering third and fourth levels. Correct. Second and third. Mil yeah. That must be millions and millions. It takes them so much Of years old, big. like, but you know. Yeah. Getting, the reason this is called the Black Hand, um, the people used to say directions because that road takes you back out onto the highway. So what they used to say, you, do, you go as far as the Black Hand and then you'll turn at the highway. And that's how it got its name, the Chambers of the Black Hand. That's it. Nothing sinister, just a fairly ordinary story, actually. Down we go. Now, there's no opal where we are. This is sandstone and it was all dug out just for Ron's artwork. Now, um, that staircase you came down, yep. it's 84 steps to this level alone. Mm -hmm. And it took our artist, Ron Camlin, six months to dig it all the way to the bottom. Now, what you're about to see is 22 to 23 years worth of work for Ron. He dug, carved, painted everything, but he's never had an art lesson. Ron gets a picture from a computer or a magazine. He'll draw that on the wall and dig it out roughly with a little pick. Pick marks are up top there. Yep. But those serrated looking marks, and they're everywhere, were made with a kitchen fork. <laughs> and the carvings were carved out with a Sheffield steel bone handle butter knife. And after 22 years, that blade's getting awfully short. <laughs> well, Ron lives down at Batlow now, okay. down south. Comes yep. back every few months for a bit of maintenance work or mm. a new carving or two. You mm. can't stop him. Mate, how old is he now? 81 years old, fit as a Mallee ball and tough as damn nails. Wow, this is amazing. Thank wow. you so much. No oh my God. Oh, he's got painted carvings as well. Oh my goodness, look at that wall. Egyptian theme. Oh, even like, oh. But the Buddha, one bloke being down here doing this hours after hours. You get lost down here, 
Just one man doing all this. Yeah. Oh, there's where's Wally? I found one. <laughs> I've been down here. Oh, completely. The jungle. This is Africa, so there's a big. Yes, I did miss a bit. And of course, we can't leave out Elvis and Captain America. Oh, all the, there's a water theme, there's mermaids. It's really amazing. Dragons, Pied Piper. Um, all the, oh, look, all the Kiss. Jesus. Oh, the Beatles. So that's Ron Canlan, mm -hmm. the gentleman who was responsible for all this. Even in Lightning Ridge underground, there's a South Sydney Rabbitohs. And sadly, the Sea Eagles. So, what do you do? You touch it. It's not hot. This has been amazing. I head up these stairs. I think I found a bit of opal. So I'm in like this is opal mined country. Private property. Keep off. Be careful. They come out with guns. Well, I'm just uh, riding around without Billy the kid. It's a great place. I need another day here, really. 